Hey there, this is Hugo, CEO of Just Digital Inc. and author of the Client Acquisition Blueprint. And in this video, I wanna share with you a couple of tips on how you can get more photography clients. One of the first things that I tell photographers is to define the type of photography they want to be shooting. What I mean by that is a lot of photographers are very skilled and can shoot a lot of different things. They're shooting landscapes, weddings, headshots, editorial, they're shooting f uh, food, babies, all sorts of different things. And then they put that on their website and then it's really confusing to know what their skills are and it doesn't have a cohesiveness to their portfolio. If you want to have a successful career as a photographer, you need to determine which one of these types of photography I I want to specialize in and I want to be shooting. It's sometimes it's tough to tell people that because they, they can do all of it and they're passionate about it, but I would say at least commit to it for six months. Commit to developing your skill, developing the client base, developing your marketing material for six months for a specific type of photography. And then eventually, once you got start getting booked, you're gonna be able to make decisions on which types of photography I like to do most. The second thing is you gotta determine who actually buys those photography services. So let's say you, deter you determine that you wanna shoot headshots and then you ask yourself, well, who buys headshots? Well, you can go to families to do portrait sessions, but how often do they actually buy is another question you should ask yourself. So if you wanna be profitable, then maybe realtors and insurance agents and sales professionals might be a good customer base for you to get, to get started, to be able to get some consistent income and be able to do this full time. So determine who buys that and what motivates them to buy. Obviously a bride has different motivations than a real estate agent. And then the third thing you should do is to build marketing material around the type of photography that you actually want to promote and target it at the type of people who buy your photography services. Again, going back to the website, you wanna have your portfolio nice and clean so that it only has, or that it at least has a section for the type of photography that you want to be promoting. Because again, a bride doesn't care about baby portraits, doesn't necessarily care about real estate photography. So you wanna make sure that that's clear and concise. The second thing in your marketing materials, have print collateral because you're gonna be talking to a lot of people. So have your flyers, your brochures, your prints, your business cards ready to go so that it separates you from every other photographer who just opens their laptop and just shows them a bunch of pictures. So you can leave prospects or potential customers with actual work, with actual material. It may cost you a little bit, but trust me, it's worth it and it separates you from everybody else. And then obviously have your Instagram, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, sharp professional with uh, links to all your work and making sure that you're building a following of people who might be able to refer you, partners and so forth. The fourth thing, it's pretty obvious, but you need to go out there and talk to people. So if you determine you wanna do headshots, uh, or portraits, then you need to go out there and talk to those people. Talk to realtors, talk to insurance agents, to the salespeople. If you wanna do more editorial type work, then you need to talk to ad agencies or small business owners who might hire you to create content for their campaigns. One of the simple uh, things that I recommend is to talk to five people a day. And it starts building a sales process because you'll start having a sheet, a spreadsheet, a document, or however you wanna track your sales leads and you wanna be talking to a lot of people and five people a day is an easy and manageable number and then at the end of a week, you'll have 25 contacts that you made. If you make 25 contacts a week over the course of a four week month, then you'll have 100 contacts. Now, if 10% of them become clients, you have 10 new clients every single month. So over the course of a year, that's 1,200 people that you're talking to. If you get 10% of those, you have 120 clients. For most photographers, doing 120 clients or 120 shoots is enough to get them full time, to get them going, to get them started, especially if your prices are set and then you start getting referrals and repeat business, but that's just by talking to five people a day. So if you're looking to do more editorial, more you know, social media content type stuff, then that's talking to five different business owners a day. There's 23 million small business owners in the United States. You're not gonna run out of people to talk to. Or maybe you wanna to talk to ad agencies. You just contact ad agencies over and over and over again for them to be able to look at your portfolio, to be able to hire you for projects and keep those relationships going. If you're selling uh, to real estate agents, then talk to, there's over a million real estate agents, right? Talk to five of them 
is, is a really simple and manageable way. And it can be something as simple as like sending direct messages on Facebook and LinkedIn and saying, hey, we'd love to meet, we'd love to connect with you, attending networking events, joining associations and doing trade shows, asking for referrals, touching base with past clients. I have a full list actually in the client acquisition blueprint. It'll give you an idea on what activities you need to be doing to market your photography business. I hope these tips helped you. If they did, leave me a comment below. Let me know how you get clients. Let me know what you're struggling with in your marketing and how do you in trying to get more clients. And make sure to hit thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Until next time, I look forward to helping you build an epic business.